La da 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 da. Okay. How'd you fix my butt? <laughs> to our channel. <laughs> I'm Claudia Encinas and I'm a violist and arts administrator. And I'm Angel Azara and I'm a professional opera singer and voice teacher. Yes. And today I'm showing Angel another Luis Miguel video. We are watching Pensar en Ti, which is a very requested song. Also, I've heard it before many times. Uh, Luis Miguel has always been a huge, huge favorite of mine. Um, I grew up in South America, so like I'm sure you know that's he's a big deal there. <laughs> he's a big deal everywhere, but he's a big deal in South America. He's beloved by all. Um, so yeah, we're gonna listen to this one. Yep. And I feel like you should just know, like now that we're together, I think we said it in a few comments, but after we did La Incondicional, we it's still stuck in our heads. Oh, that yeah. was like a month ago. Yeah, I mean, it's, it, it's it been, just kind of sticks. It's, it, yeah. And we the have, dance moves, all of it. Like, <laughs> we have been singing it to each other on the phone for like a month. We'll send each other voice memos of just like some of his like... Da, 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 da. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, let's see what happens with Pinsan and <laughs> At least it'll get La Incondicional out of our heads if I it gets into I our heads. I don't know about that. I think it's probably just gonna make it <laughs> sink <laughs> even deeper. More. Oh, God. Yes. <laughs> it already I, I don't think I've talked about it before but I like the way Luis Miguel like holds on to voiced consonants you know what I mean like consonants that have a pitch to them like mm -hmm. what did he just say or whatever he was saying but he holds on to the end it's I think oh. maybe I have talked about it before but he's a really really good example I'm always getting my students to sing through not just through the vowels, because that's easy to do, but to sing through all the voice consonants mm -hmm. at your disposal, because it just makes you sound so much better. Yeah. <laughs> Hold. There's a fire truck outside. We're in a major city. I also love his bed head. It has nothing to do with his Well, voice. I don't know. He but like, it looks like somebody just went up to him and went. He does that all the time. He's always like going like this, like on his hair. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to do it because I'll mess up my hair, but. My hair's already messed <laughs> but up. But he already, he, he's always like digging his hands into his hair and then like pulling them out. <laughs> <laughs> so it always looks like that. Oh, man, the spider trap. <laughs> <laughs> well, another thing, like when he says like, uh, ah, da, or ah, ba, like he doesn't jaw. When he has consonants that are plosive mm. on the lips or like bilabial. Mm -hmm. What I was saying is when he has voice consonants and unvoiced consonants, a lot of times people won't voice the voiced consonants and then they'll chew on the unvoiced consonants. And he does not do that. Like he, mm -hmm. he articulates very cleanly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Push it. Mas y mas en mí. Yeah, 
You know, I, it's interesting because we just did the Barcelona video and I was talking about Freddie Mercury having a really raspy sound. He also has a raspy quality to his voice, but they both sing with such clean phonation because they have good breath support and a trained voice. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> when you hear raspiness in a voice, when you hear that, and it's very common in men's voices, mm -hmm. more, it's more so than women. Um, I don't think that it's a sign of dysfunction at all. I don't think it's a sign of an unhealthy voice. I think it's just a natural timbre quality. Yeah. I think it's possible to reproduce a rasp in an unhealthy way or to develop a rasp through dysfunction. But um, having those those voices that have it naturally, that it's just a vocal quality, it's just sexy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's okay, just sexy. sexy voice. Freddie Mercury's, I don't want to say it's less sexy, but the style of music that he does and how bright he keeps his tone, it doesn't, you know, come across as like a 90s seduction ballad. No, I mean, it's like, <laughs> but it's, it's, <laughs> it doesn't come across as, like, I wouldn't put Freddie Mercury on like a, Angel goes on a date playlist, you know? I Would mean, you? I don't know. I guess it depends on the song. We Will Rock You? No. That's not appropriate for a date. <laughs> um, but just the, the way he uses his voice. The rasp is similar in quality, but the way that they both, the style of music that they sing. Right. And also, you know, how brightly Freddie colors his voice and how darkly he colors his. Mm -hmm. But it's still a similar well, it, tonal well, quality. Sure, the 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 timbre and, and color of their voices are appropriate for their genres. Yeah, for sure. Um, and that's what can be changed. You know, the raspiness mm -hmm. won't go away if it's a if it's just naturally innately in your voice. But you can change how bright your voice is. Mm -hmm. um, and you can obviously obviously the style of music that you sing you can change. Yeah. <laughs> I want to rewind a little. Mm -hmm. So when you see him here in this position, you can see that his back is not straight, mm -hmm. right? And when your back isn't straight and you're crunched in like that, like just do it for a sec. Your floating ribs are immediately cutting into your diaphragm. Sure. It, it, <laughs> it, it's like when you squeeze a balloon, you know? Sure. The Most of the balloon is going to puff out of the top, okay. right? Unless you squeeze here, which you can't really do because you're infrastructure your skeleton is like infrastructure. <laughs> i'm not a building your skeleton is in the way the infrastructure of your respiratory system sure that's a way you can say that that makes sense I, but you can uh affect the respiratory system by crunching with your floating ribs and it'll make your diaphragm ascend faster mm -hmm. which isn't the healthiest way to mm -hmm. produce a stronger airflow for when you're belting and I don't necessarily teach that you should push more air through when you're belting high notes. I, I don't think so. Um, but some people do, and it's a legitimate technique. You know, it's more tomato, tomato than it is you're right and I'm wrong. But that's what he's doing right there. I would never want my students to manipulate their diaphragm in this way. But um, some teachers do teach it to great effect. And that's what he's doing right here. He is mm. chomping in on his diaphragm, like crunching in on it. It's... It, it's ascending quicker and that's making air expel out of your lungs faster hmm. and he's doing it on a high note you know he's crunching into it a lot of old italian men teach this style um a lot of older male opera singers teach this style not Pavarotti, but like mark oswald at the juilliard uh lindemann program teaches this way and a few other people that i'm not going to talk about but yeah anyways <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, he totally can. Yeah. See, he's doing it. He's doing it. He's doing it. Look how grounded he stays. Like, he's constantly, like, bending with his knees mm -hmm. and moving. I hate when I see singers that are just, like, bobbleheads. 
Like yeah. they're just singing from here up. He's so connected to his body. Mm-hmm. And earlier I didn't, I mean, I can't keep going back like every 10 seconds, even though I want to. But when he breathes, he breathes like in such a 360 way. Like you can see his lower back expanding when he's, when he breathes, mm-hmm. which I'm always trying to get my students to do. It's such a good breath. You do it in yoga a lot when you're like in child's pose and they want you to breathe into your lower back. Such a healthy way to sing. Such a connected way to sing. He's very connected with his body. (laughs) Okay. I can't think of a technique that is attached to that. <laughs> I love him so much. Mm. <laughs> You know, it's, it's interesting because the first song that I heard him sing was La Bikina. Mm. And like that was like ranchera style, right? Or mariachi style. Sure, yeah. And Parts of it. now that I've heard like Pedro Infante singing that style of music, I can see that that's not Luis Miguel's like main yeah, no, no. thing. Mm-hmm. Um, that's all. I don't know. I was just thinking about like the difference in style. Like I, I, it's not that I didn't like La Bikina. Y'all, I started like, I found the sheet music for La Bikina and I can't stop playing it. It's so much fun to play and sing. Um, so obviously like I enjoyed the performance, but now that I've heard like an actual, like mm. super famous mariachi singer singing in that style, I can see what Luis Miguel was trying to emulate and he did successfully emulate it. But, um, like, I would rather hear Luis Miguel singing things like La Incondicional and Pensar en Ti. Yeah, he's a Because this is his... Yeah, he's like the... He's Frank Sinatra. <laughs> <laughs> I've been trying to get Angel to watch the Luis Miguel Netflix series. Um, Didn't he produce it? Yeah. I'm going to. It's on my watch. It's on my watch list, you guys. But I've started watching Criminal Minds. Stop watching Criminal Minds. I know. I've never seen it before. I've got to finish. So maybe we'll make a video for watching the first episode of that. Because we just filmed a video for watching the first episode of Glee. She did not enjoy. She did not enjoy. I would much rather watch. I don't know an hour's worth of somebody being (laughs) Luis Miguel (laughs) than watch any more Glee ever. Although I kind of. Yeah, she wants to watch this. She wants to watch the second episode. It's like a. She was like, I hate this, but also can we keep going? I hate watch a lot of shows. Yeah, Grey's Anatomy. Yeah, Grey's Anatomy for sure. Anyways, that's like <laughs> all getting cut out of this video. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you found it informational or helpful or fun, please like and subscribe. Yes, hit that subscribe button. Let us know what else you'd like to watch. We're making a list of all your suggestions. It's going to take a while, but we'll get through it. So um, if the video gets suggested enough or liked enough, then we will definitely add it to the list. For sure, for sure. Um, So, yeah. Thank you for watching and... Toy, toy, toy. Until next time. (laughs) Bye.